click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical based on properties of z transform and problem number 3 that we are going to study now i hope you have studied all the properties of z transform because today's numerical is based on scaling property and differentiation property of z transform so first of all we'll see the question and then we'll move on to solution so the question is determine the z transform given signal and the signal or sequence is given as x of n is equals to 5 by 8 raised to n n into u of n now look at here here we have a and the value of a is 5 by 8 and we have a raised to n which means we have to use a time scaling property now if any function input sequence is multiplied by n which means we have to use a time differentiation or simply differentiation property now we will solve this question but first of all we will use a differentiation property and then we will apply a time scaling property if you apply time scaling property first then it will be difficult while calculating or you may face some difficulties while calculating the differentiation because maybe you may forget to write the value of a that's why now we will apply a z transform and then we'll use a time differentiation property and later on time scaling so first of all apply z transform on whole function So, if we apply z transform on both the sides, what we can say? This x of n is represented by x of z. Phi by 8 raised to n, n into u of n. So, as I told you earlier also, first of all, we will use a time differentiation property or you can say simply differentiation property and then use a time scaling. So, this is the statement of a differentiation property. Z transform of n into u of n is minus z d by dz of u of z, which means a first order differentiation of u of z. Here, the order of n is 1, then we will differentiate this u of z by 1. If the order is 2, then of course, we will differentiate by 2. Now, what is the z transform of u of z? And we know that the z transform of unit step sequence is z upon z minus 1. And please remember this formula because it is used in each and every numerical of z transform and as well as inverse z transform. Now, what is the formula? Which formula you are going to use for calculating a d by dz of z upon z minus 1? Of course, u by v formula. And what was that? v derivative of u minus u derivative of v upon v square so my u is z and my v is z minus 1 so v i have written first now differentiation of z with respect to z so d by dz of z will get cancelled answer is 1 minus u which is z and differentiation of z minus 1 well basically differentiation will be applied on both the sides that is on z as well as 1 separately so d by dz of z is 1 and d by dz of constant is always 0 so 1 minus 0 remains 1 and in the denominator what we will have z minus 1 the whole square that is v square now look at here if i open this bracket then you can say that z minus 1 minus z will be there and zz will get cancelled and minus 1 will be there on numerator side but look at it outside this bracket we have minus z so minus z into minus 1 will be a plus z so this was the result now as i told you z minus z will get cancelled and minus z into minus 1 will be a plus z And this is nothing but the z transform of first order differentiation of unit step. Now, remember this formula also because it is number of times used in inverse z transform also as well as in z transform also. Now, we will use a time scaling property. What 
what do you mean by time scaling property all these z will be replaced by z by a here my a value is 5 by 8 so all this z both this z will be replaced by z by a so first of all i'm going to consider this 5 by 8 is nothing but my a and then later on i will substitute a is equals to 5 by 8 now just simply multiply numerator and denominator by a square reason why a square because in denominator we have the highest power of a is a square now whenever any square term enters into the square bracket then we will always multiply a inside the bracket now look at here this a square and this a will get cancelled so we have only a z in the numerator part now we will see what is will be the denominator now so what we have got if i multiply that a inside then z by a and multiplied by a so a get cancelled we have only z and 1 into a will be a so this is our result but resubstitute we have to resubstitute the value of a And what was that? A is 5 by 8. Now, if you want, then you can take this 8 square outside this bracket. But if not, then keep it as it is. Now, I am shifting this 8 in the denominator side. So, what we have? Now, if as i said if you want to take it outside this bracket then what you are going to do well basically if you want then you can stop here also now if you want to take it outside this square bracket then what you are going to do first of all we have to cross multiply it with this z then in denominator we have a complete 8 and then take this square because we want to take it outside now this 8 and single 8 will get cancelled this 8 will be shifted on numerator side so 8 5 is a 40 we have and this is our final result now as i said if you want then you can stop here also or else if if you want then you can stop here also that's all for now stay tuned with ikeda subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much